Hello everybody and welcome to another video. I've been getting many requests from you all to make uh, beginner level tutorials. Firstly, I'm so happy that many of you want to learn how to paint and uh, I'm a self-taught artist myself. So the methods and techniques that I use are learned by practice and random experiments. But I'm really happy to be sharing some of these with you. So today we are going to be painting these beautiful jellyfishes. It's a very easy painting and I'm going to take you step by step. So let's start with the materials we'll need. So we'll need one flat brush. Uh, I'm using the size 10. Angular brush, I'm using a size 2. A calligraphy brush or just fine brushes uh, will also do. The colors that I'm using are Prussian blue, lemon yellow, crimson lake. I'm also using neon pink. If you don't have this one, then you can use normal pink color also. And also I'm using white. I'm using 300 GSM watercolor paper. We'll also need some tissues. And obviously some clean water and a clean palette. So before starting, I'm going to tape the edges of my paper so that it's not moving around while I paint. So first, I'm going to take Prussian blue, white and lemon yellow. We're going to create a gradient background. So using the flat brush, we will start from the right bottom this way. Now we are going to add white to the blue and make it lighter. Paint till about half the page like this. Now to blend, I am going to clean my brush with water and remove excess water using a tissue paper. And then I am going to use the brush very lightly to blend both the tones. This might take some time, uh, you will just have to like with a very light hand just go over the two tones in an upward and downward motion. For this painting the blending doesn't have to be perfect as we are creating an underwater scene and underwater the water is always moving or it's going to have some dust particles or bubbles so it's never going to be a perfect gradient right so we don't really have to worry too much about the gradation. Next, we will add more white to the blue and repeat the previous step again. So here, as you can see, I'm blending while I'm painting this tone. You can do it this way or the previous way, whatever you are comfortable with. So the idea is just to have a gradation from dark blue to light blue and in the light blue I'm adding a bit of lemon yellow because I want some warmth in the blue and here I'm starting from the top and going down. So if you notice underwater, it, the water is usually not crystal clear. There are bubbles, dust particles. So we are going to make some light bubbles just to give a hazy effect. For this, take a really light tone of blue and make slightly big dots using a fine brush. And before the paint dries, clean the brush and remove excess water and start smudging the edges like this. So this will create this sort of a blurry effect. So now the background is complete and we can move to the good part of painting the jellyfishes. I'm taking Crimson Lake and adding some white to it. Now we can start by making a semicircle like this. And with Crimson Lake, give some depth to the semicircle 
like this so that it looks like an umbrella or an inverted bowl slightly below that we'll make another semicircle as the previous one next take neon pink we are going to make a mushroom head like shape with a fine line brush now using an angular brush without applying too much pressure we are going to create the transparent bell shaped top of a jellyfish use very gentle strokes here so that the transparent effect is achieved and once that is done add some yellow to the pink and create an orange color and add some details to the hood like this Next, let's start painting the tentacles. We'll start by mixing lemon yellow and white to create a light yellow tone. And using an angular brush, we have to create these ribbon-like structures. They're called the oral arms of the jellyfish. Obviously, I googled it. So, these can be really free-flowing and they don't have to follow any sort of particular pattern. So with the angular brush I'm going to go in this zigzag manner to get this ribbon like pattern. I'm repeating the same for the second jellyfish. So using the same yellow let's give some highlights to the bell hood so that it gets some volume Now let's paint a few orange oral arms <laughs> it's funny to say that but that's what they're called so but this time we'll make it shorter this is just to add some more volume and color so now i'm using a calligraphy brush but you can use any fine brush for this and we're going to make the tentacles like this so these start from the outside hood and you can go really crazy here if you like you can make them as long as you want and as flowy as you like So I want to give more of the translucent effect for the hood of the jellyfishes. We're going to add some of the same blue tone of the background on the bell hood. So now it gives a more transparent or translucent sort of uh, effect. And I'm also adding more details on the uh, hood. Now we are going to add some bubbles in the background. So first I'm going to just randomly splash some white here like this. And then I'm going to make bigger bubbles with a fine line brush. And friends, we are done. Now, obviously, the most satisfying part, I'm just going to remove the tape. I hope this painting was easy to follow and you enjoyed painting it. 
I don't think it would have taken anything more than an hour and a half for you guys. Do let me know in the comments if you want me to do more beginner level painting tutorials. Also, if you do try this out, please share it with me or post on Instagram and tag me. I would love to see it. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and this video. Please comment down if you liked it or not. I'll see you all next week. Bye bye.